What's up everyone, River Karaba here, the analytics guy. Welcome back to our channel. I've got a great video for you today. It's gonna to be a little bit of a discussion. So recently, the channel Creator Insider, so Tom over there who works inside YouTube, puts up great videos. If you haven't checked them out, make sure you are. Put up a video called Impressions, Click-Through Rate, and More. In that video, they made several really awesome announcements that are gonna be coming to your YouTube analytics app here on YouTube. Now, I wanted to talk about that if you want to check out that video, go ahead and check out the link in the description below. I'll leave that down there so you can be informed on all of this as well. It was about a 20 minute video, so uh, you're not going to want to miss it. It's all really, really great. But first, what are the updates coming? So at about 30 seconds into the video, so very early, they announced that we're going to be adding impressions, click through rate and unique viewers. Now, guys, if you've watched our videos here on the analytics guy, you know that these are all things that I have been asking about in our brand deals video we talked about these are the things that brands want to know about this is fantastic fantastic news i can't wait to like dive into that when it gets added to the app no real word on when exactly that's going to be added to the analytics app but coming soon they did give some updates on the analytics beta which we'll talk about in another video but the first thing, let's talk about what that is. So impressions, what are impressions? So I like to describe impressions as the opportunity to see. Okay, so in this case, we're talking about your thumbnails. They're gonna give the impressions of your thumbnails in search, or if they show up on the trending page or on the home page. If, if someone, if a thing saw it, an opportunity to see, that is one impression. Now, it is possible to have multiple impressions against the same person. So let's say you reloaded the home page a bunch of times and you know just from navigating and you saw the same thumbnail five times, that is five impressions, right? The next thing is click through rate. So click through rate is the rate in which an impression is served and someone clicks on that thumbnail. This is actually an advertising term. Uh, when when me at, at my full-time job at the agency, uh, the click through rates is something from time to time we look at, right? Uh, that opportunity to see to the interaction that is a click and then clicking through. And then the third one is that unique viewers. So if, if, a, if a view is the time number of times the video was played, a unique viewer is going to be a human person. How many human people watched that video? Okay, so that is what is going to be so awesome awesome because you basically get to understand your true viewership okay so not just how many subscribers you have that's a common faux pas f common mistake here on YouTube that you have creators saying oh well you know I had uh, I have 200,000 people watch my videos because that's how many subscribers I have wrong that's not how many people watch your videos you normally have to overlay some other technology like a Google Analytics or something like that to try to get that or it's just been this black box of information that we haven't been able to provide for ourselves or to brands so that's really really cool so uh, those are the kind of definitions of the three new things that are coming to the YouTube analytics app so pumped about that but why are these important why, how would we use those okay so impressions how do you think we're gonna use that we're gonna use that to know and begin to test how many people are seeing our thumbnails and comparing that with click-through rate we now for the first time ever have our ability to actually test thumbnails so it'll go back and retrofit all of the impressions I imagine and things like that they have not said whether they're gonna go back or just do it moving forward I'm sure they'll go back and do it uh, but that'll show us okay this many impressions right and it garnered this level of click-through rate you can actually back out of that metric so click-through rate is computed by clicks over impressions so if you want to understand how many clicks you had you can just do the math but that click-through rate is effectively gonna tell us which of our thumbnails are most effective at getting the click getting somebody to come in because as we all know watch time is king here on YouTube coupled with that session time how many videos can our channels be responsible for driving here on YouTube. So, so important to be able to understand, to test, you know, was it was blue or red if it had a person versus a screenshot? Uh, any number of tests that we want to go ahead and think and start understanding uh, what is your audience or the people that are coming to your channel going to get them to click through. 
how we'd use unique viewers, like I said, this is a big piece in kind of brand deals, understanding the, sky, the, the scale and scope of our audience. So important, right? Seeing how uh, the rewatchability of certain videos, let's say you have a video that uh, has a ton of impressions and thumbnails, so it's coming up in search often, has really strong click-through rates, right? So that should, means that that thumbnail is working really effectively. But the unique viewers, right, let's say you have a ton of views on your video and maybe lesser unique viewers, that means that the same people are going back and watching that video over and over again. In my opinion, that's the secret sauce right there because you're on a single piece of content, you're driving multiple views from the same people. Now, we obviously want to increase that base of unique viewers over time, of course, and get that number as high as we can because then the views and watch time will go up. But you can see what I mean. Like That is so interesting, right? So, these are going to be metrics that are coming out here pretty soon, guys. I've been talking to you for about six, seven minutes. I'm trying to keep these a lot shorter than some of the older videos. But let me know in the comment section below if you have any questions. Uh, these are all metrics that we're used to working in the advertising industry, which is, as you know, where I come from. So I'm extremely knowledgeable at all this. Let me know those questions. You can tweet at me at Yo Analytics Guy or leave them in the comment section below. And we will see you in the next one.